Okay, since we've been talking about launching FX3 straight from Pinup Hopper's menu to the main FX3 menu, I'll do a quick and dirty video. One thing you're going to need is wherever you've got the tables for FX3, if you look over here on the right, I created a zero byte fake table called FX3.PXP. So just go ahead and create a text file, no contents, rename it FX3.PXP, and you've got that all prepped. Next, you're going to go into the Pinup Popper Setup Games Manager, and I've created a table here called Pinball FX3. Let me see if I can zoom in on this for you guys so you can see a little bit better. All right, and it is emulating as a Pinball FX3 table. We'll get into that next. But what I've done is quite simple, it is visible. I gave it a name. I called it one dot pinball FX3, so that sorting wise would be the first one on my list. Game emulator FX3. You can find more about setting up the FX3 game emulator on the Pinup Popper wiki. And then the game file name is FX3, as is the table name or the file name itself. That is all I did to set that up. And then, of course, you would go into Media Manager itself set up all the media you want to do. I can launch that from here. But I went ahead and set up a back glass that just runs right now. That'll be overridden later when FX3 goes into individual tables. I have set up a play field, nothing major. I set up an animated wheel. And I did a loading screen. Sorry, that was really loud. Um, the apron was a custom apron made for me that I've shared in the Discord. That looks like that. Runs in the background, a little bit of animation, and plenty of room for a four to one DMD. And that is all you need to do besides the emulation setup for launching FX3 straight to its menu. And again, the emulators are done under Popper Setup, under Emulators, and here's the FX3 emulation. Not sure if that was baked in or not, uh, but go to the wiki, tells you all how to do that, tells you your launch folders, which is based upon where your Steam files are, as well as your games folder, which is where your tables are. You'll have to go ahead and do a uh, launch script. Pretty sure those are all baked into Popper from default. Uh, both the launch and close, nothing in network, and there's just some files to ignore here in the other section. So your Pinball X FX3 emulator should be set up. Just may have to change things like the launch EXE folder, the games folder, and the media folder. But do that and do the custom table that I mentioned here in Games Manager, and you'll be able to launch FX3 straight to its menu from Pinup Popper uh, without having to exit Popper and going into FX3 separately. Hope this helps somebody.